Hello people, hello world. First of all, take body measurement of your doll. The unit we will use is centimeters because our doll has a small body figure. In drafting front bodies, first thing you will draw is a perpendicular line. From intersection point, measure the front figure downward. This is point A and this is point B. From point A, measure the half of a cross chest. This is point C. From point A, measure the half of shoulder. This will be point D. From A, measure the one-fourth of bust forward. And this is point E. Starting from E, square downward using ruler. Next, square downward from C. From D, measure one half centimeter. And square downward for its length. This is point F. From A, measure one centimeter forward. And one centimeter downward. Create curve line connecting the two points. This is for neckline. This is point G and this will be point H. Connect G to F to make diagonal line. From point F, measure 1 and 1 half centimeter connecting the C line. Connect F to the mark in C line. This is point I. From E, measure the half of shoulder. And square forward. This will be point J. Create curve line from F to J. It is optional if you want to touch the point I, but it's fine if not. This is for armhole. From B, square forward. And measure 1 fourth of waist plus 2 cm for dart intake. This is point K. From A, measure the bust height downward. This is point L. From B and L, measure the half of bust distance. Create a straight line for this point. From line, measure 2 cm in between. This is point M, N, O, and this is point Q. Connect Q to M and Q to N for dart intake. Connect J to K to create diagonal line. This is the final draft for front bodies. The cutting guidelines are from point G to H to L to B to M to O to N to K up to J to F and ends with G.
this is the final pattern. In drafting back bodies, make a perpendicular line too. Lay your front pattern to perpendicular line and pin it to secure. For neckline, measure the half space from intersection point to center front neckline and create curve line for back neckline. Now, I will not say the point letters, so I does not become repetitive. Trace your front pattern except for its dart and sides. Remove the pins and front pattern. From B, measure 1 fourth of waist plus 1 centimeter for dark intake. From A, measure the bust height downward. From B, Measure the bus distance forward. Connect these points to create a straight line. From this straight line, measure 1 cm in between. This is for the dart intake. Connect E to F to create diagonal line for side. This is the final draft for back bodies. The guidelines in cutting are from point C to A to G to B to H to I to J to F up to E to D and ends with C. For the skirt, we will draft for the pattern of circular skirt. We often see this style from ball gowns. After you create perpendicular line, measure the waistline with this formula. The measurement of waist divided by 3.16. Draw curve line from guide marks for waistline. From A, measure the desired length for the skirt. It can be short, medium, and long. It's up to you. Take note that 
start measuring from curved waistline because this is a circular pattern of skirt. Draw curve lines following the guidelines or marks. This is the hemline or bottom of the skirt. This is the final draft of skirt. And the guidelines in cutting are from point A to C to D to B and ends with A. Draw perpendicular line for sleeve drafting. From intersection point, measure the desired length of sleeve. From B, square forward. From A, Measure the sleeve cup downward and square forward using ruler. From A, measure the half of armhole touching the C-line. Connect A to D to create diagonal line. From B, Measure the half of bottom of the sleeve. It can be the measurement of wrist, elbow, or arm, depending on the desired length. From point A to D, create curve line for armhole. This is the final draft of sleeve. The guidelines in cutting are starting from point A to C to B to E to D and ends with A. Bravo! We are done! We made it! These are all the patterns we made. If you have any questions or suggestion about tutorial drafting, let me know on the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe!